stupid. When the markets collapse, which they will, if the slowdowns, if the uh, continued uh, companies that they're saying are shutting down because 10% 10, 10 of the workforce can't go to work. Everybody's dependent on Chinese goods and services and foods for their livelihood in the United States and other countries. If they stop producing the amount of product because they can't go to work, what does that do to the world economy? It collapses the world economy. Now, we saw something that I showed the big short there back in 2000 um, and um, Five, it began, and I got out in 2007, 2008. All the collapses started, and over 5 million people lost their homes. Since that time, the United States has taken on an additional $22 trillion in debt. You divide that by 320 million people, and you're talking every single man, woman, and child, and child born in this country owes 80-some thousand dollars on the debt and this is while interest rates are low so we've never ever ever seen anything close to this kind of massive debt load that's been run up on our bill against all obligations now we've got prime debt prime loan debt everybody buying their cars taking out six-year loans cars only last four years they're punting cars everywhere we're seeing student loan debt at one and a half trillion dollars we're seeing people using their homes like ATMs again, just like we saw in 2008. But, but the collapse of 2008, most of you remember, was painful. People had lifestyle changes, yada, yada. That is nothing, nothing compared to the record debt we have now. We have simply never seen this kind of debt. So the markets are in a pretty good correction today, not huge correction, not a big deal, yet it's coming off the top and gold is hitting new recent highs like uh, six, eight, 10 year highs. It hasn't seen 1600 in a long time. Now remember I've been saying for a long time the new $100 bill is half in gold. They're gonna be changing to the cryptocurrency. I'm gonna show you how that's gonna happen in a minute here. But what they're saying is uh, the reason that stocks are lower is because Apple says coronavirus outbreak will hurt sales. They're saying that people in the in the in China aren't going to be able to get to work as much as they work. So production's going to be off. We don't expect to be a long time. Yada yada. But this is what took the market down 450 points a week and a half ago. And they're definitely tying the stock market performance to the coronavirus. It's really really important to understand because. Trump impeachment, evading Iran, bombing the crap out of Syria, putting restraint as they just increase massive debt to pump up everything. Yet now they're saying they're tying the coronavirus to the movements of Wall Street. As the economy goes, so goes our world. It's really important to understand this, and not many people are focusing on the massive debt that we've occurred. So Apple and Walmart and other companies are saying about the coronavirus, hey, we don't get shipments from China and Indonesia and stuff. Oh my gosh, we're in trouble. Our numbers are going to go down. As numbers go down, we're going to see less valuations, less profits, and this could be the very tops of the market of all time. It's been this way for a long time. It's just a question of when they want to pull the plug. And I'm saying, calling it now, they're pulling the plug right now. And this is what I'm seeing, um, this cashless agenda that's been floated around for a long time. China is scrubbing cash notes to stop virus spreading so its paper money won't kill you. Uh, activistpost.com is a shill for the public speaking and starting to think zero hedge is one, two. They're just being mouthpieces for getting all this stuff out. But um, it's very clear now that they're talking about getting rid of paper and everything will have to be electronic. And what does that dovetail perfectly with? See how it's in gold? You see the gold feathers here, the gold lotus blossom? <laughs> The U.S. $100 bill here, this is a gold inkwell, this is a gold feather, this is gold 100, and there's gold cursive writing in the background. This is a blue RFID chip. This is how cops can scan your car and read if you've got $100 bills and busting people with citizen asset forfeiture. But So it's been my um, 
theory, prophecy, prediction, whatever, that once they collapse the economy, they're going to be converting to the cryptocurrencies. And we already saw that the uh, part of the whole uh, coronavirus is attached to the uh, cryptocurrency as well that they've had now for a few years. The, two, the, the, the $100 bill was ready to be rolled out in 2009. They did not release it until October 2013. Reese also noticed that 9-11 was on the back of the U.S. dollar bills. That was 1996. 9-11 happened um, some almost uh, 15, 14 years later. So you can see, but also the dollar crashing. So what is the dollar tied to? It's tied to the petrodollar, oil. What are they switching to? They're switching to uh, electronic currencies, electronic cars, electronic Wi-Fi, 5G from high altitude platforms. Elon Musk, uh, Earthlink, 440,000, uh, quote, satellites supposedly beaming down. So the $100 bill is, is predictive programming, and I want to bring your attention right here. If you look in the background in cursive writing on the new $100 bill, it's the second paragraph of the Declaration of Independence talking about abolishing the right to abolish government. It's all in the bigger agenda, folks. But they're starting with China, it appears, and they're going to say paper currencies are now transferring the coronavirus, yada, 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 and now we're in electronic banking mode. Why they're promoting? This is why they're promoting uh, Trump versus Bloomberg, money versus money. So when the economy collapses here in the next few months, let's say the markets just uh, correct, quote, 10, 15, 20. Remember in 2008, it was 42, 44 percent. The markets corrected, so it's almost half. So take a look at your uh, retirement portfolios you have in stocks, cut it in half, cut your home prices by 20, 30, 40%. See how you feel when those prices are then. And then they bring in Bloomberg, Sir Michael Bloom. Remember he's a Sir, he was knighted by the Queen for services to England. Sir Michael Bloomberg comes in and also notice his 2020 logo is both red and blue. And here's this dyed in the wool Republican selling himself as a Democrat. Are you kidding me? But this is what they're promoting. And this is why they waited to roll him out towards the end. And um, surging in the polls is the news today. And uh, the odds in Vegas, yada, yada. They don't let somebody of his power and his stature and his, uh, his uh, notoriety uh, fall. They just don't do that. It's just not something he's 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 served them too well. The Bernie Sanders and all that crap, you know, that's just sidebar stuff. This is the real, real what they're promoting right now, and this is going to be the guy that's supposedly going to be able to fix the economy when it collapses. And again, we're seeing one of the major major companies producing all our phones, all our communications, everything. Apple uh, being the lead dog and saying that their stock is down over two percent because many other products derive from